This fact check brought to you by Necessity. On the back of the Boy Beer Company's Czech style Pilsner can, they say bright traditional taste, a classic lightly hopped Pilsner with roots in the great beer heritage of the Czech Republic. Our Czech Pils features Saz hops, supporting layers of rounded malt flavors, as right today as it was a few hundred years ago. Well, considering that Pilsners were invented in the Czech Republic only in the 1840s. Let's see, a couple is two, a few is like three or four, and several is more than that. I think they got that wrong. Thankfully, that's the only thing they got wrong about this beer. Um, hi, this is me. Welcome to another episode of Chewing the Brew. Today I will be drinking and enjoying the Boy Beer Company's Czech-style Pilsner. Um, as I mentioned in my intro, Pilsners were invented in Pilsen in the Czech Republic back in around 1840. Apparently there was a really bad batch of beer that was brewed in the late 1830s and um, the town was embarrassed and so there was some recent developments in the discovery of the function of yeast in the actual in yeast being a unique microorganism that was useful and uh, critical to the brewing of beer and so the city of Pilsen built what was then a state-of-the-art brewing facility that was probably for the first time, or one of their very first that was built aware of the impact of yeast. And so they went about making a modern beer. And it was European, Northern European, highly informed by Bavarian and Bohemian and German um, beer traditions and skills. Uh, it uses the traditional Czech style Pilsner, it does use the Saz or Saz, S-A-A-Z, Saz hops. And so this does hold to the tradition. Czech style pilsners are known for being darker. This is possibly to the, to the honey side of yellow. So yeah, I could say that in the range of pilsners, that's probably a darker style or darker side. Also, the Czech style pilsners are known for being very mildly hopped and with a more of a floral uh, flavor from the hopping. And oh, and volume-wise, Pilsners account for something like, n for more than 90% of the global beer volume, which is just... So, big stuff. Um, I mean, you don't have... Czech, Czech style isn't the only style of Pilsner. While the town of Pilsen did actually register the trademark, hey, this is a beer of Pilsen. And like the original is the Pilsner Urkel, like if you want like the real Pilsner from the real place. You go to Czech, the Czech Republic and you go to Pilsen and you drink the Pilsner Urkel. Uh, Italian beers, a lot of Italian beers are also Pilsens. Uh, Peroni, um, oh, what's the other one? Uh, I can't remember. There's another one that uh, starts with an M, I want to say. Um, the, like, so the traditional Italian beer is a Pilsner as well. Uh, lightly hopped, light colored, refreshing lager. That's kind of what Pilsners are. Anyways, this particular Pilsner, the Boy Beer Company is out of Astoria, Oregon. One of several excellent breweries there in Astoria. I have visited Astoria and I visited Fort George while I was there, not Boy. Um, I understand Boy had some trouble a year or two ago when their part of one of their facilities collapsed into the Columbia River. Um, no one was harmed and I understand that they're building back. Uh, but uh, <laughs> I'm always happy to see a good boy on the shelf. Anyways, let's dive in, all that preamble aside. So perhaps some orange maybe? There's a, a sweetness and that might be the, the floral actually. Yeah, there's some, I'm trying to identify it. There's there's some sort of like a orange blossom. Let's call it that. It's, uh, you know, slightly acidic, bright hint of citrus, and um, 
Maybe almost some Jasmine thrown in. It smells refreshing. Uh, malt wise, I'm not smelling a whole lot uh, that distinctly says malt. And that might be because it's cold, which Pilsners are good cold. I don't know if, I mean, the, the, the tradition is European beer is served warm, right? I don't know if Pilsners are traditionally served warm. This being an American version of a Czech style, I'm guessing cold is, is the normal. And this is cold, fresh out of the fridge. There's a little bit of complexity, so maybe some dry um, grains, not really processed, not, not even turned into cracker, not bready at all. It's kind of a dry grain. Um, like if you were, you opened a, or you run a, a vat of freshly hulled grains or something like that. Together with the floral and maybe some grassy notes. For a simple, refreshing beer, this, I'm expecting it to have a bit of nice complexity to it. It's not a thoughtless beer. It's not a throwaway, a, you know, just chug, chug, chug. While you can drink this out on your lawnmower, and it would be awesome on the lawnmower, um, it has, I'm, just to the smell, the aromas, tell me there's some body to this that gives it some interesting i mean you know there's a wide gamut between the throwaway chug chug beers and the sippy sippy savory you know super special uh whatever barrel aged something or other there, there, there's a wide range there and this is definitely towards the refreshing lighter side but there's something there right that's what i'm going for <laughs> Hmm, some honey. Oh, that's nice. Okay. It tastes pretty much exactly like it smells. We have that hint of um, possibly uh, orange flower, maybe some jasmine. There's a grassiness. There's um, that grain that's there. But there's also this kind of honey sweetness, just a, a light honey sweetness that seems to be the first thing in. And then the finish is this nice, long, floral and grassy uh, hop finish that's really, really delightful. <laughs> mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Some beers, you drink them, and then... You're left with uh, something nondescript in your mouth, and you know you, you drink more because the only flavor is there while the liquid's in your mouth. And this, there's flavor while it's in your mouth, and then you swallow it, and the party begins. Right? Those Saz hops, they're they're just magic. I like that. That is a good beer. That is a surprisingly full-bodied, complex interesting malty sweet herbal floral hoppy it's just it's just all there uh it's not west coast ipa level of hops though with this finish i mean it kind of feels like it might almost be but i know my wife has definitely enjoyed these so it is not a an offensive level of hop bitterness it is a bright and vibrant and happy kind of ebullient um, level of hops. Let's describe it that way. <laughs> and being that they are the Saz hops, as opposed to say, um, you know, a, a American, particularly a Northwest style hop, it's definitely to the floral, slightly, I would say grassy rather than earthy. And, and they're just yeah, it's just good stuff. This is a really, really good beer. I enjoy this a lot. Um, I also understand, uh, so one of my 
one of my super favorite local beers is Headless Mumby's Czech style dark lager, which is a smoked dark pilsner. And um, like it's actually a smoked beer and it's it's delicious. Um, I was talking with a a tap man at a local tap room and uh, that beer came up and he said he actually finds boys own Czech style dark lager is even better than Headless Mumbies. I have not had a chance to try boys Czech style dark lager. Uh, next time I find it on the shelf, I do intend to to drink it and for an honest comparison as one must, right? When one is a true beer nerd. Um, but boy beer, boy beer company seems to have a, a good line on European style lagers and um, I certainly appreciate them for that as I appreciate them for this. Anyways, this is me. I have been drinking and enjoying Boy Beer Company's Czech Style Pilsner. I'll catch y'all on the flip side. <laughs>